Hi guys, it's Anelius and welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. We came on from the end of the last save game, which we were playing, of course, as Sonampa. And we are currently in front of our house. And we're currently level 9. We're very, very close to level 10, as you can see. So, yeah, I've got no fears of not being able to make that in this particular episode. What we're going to do firstly, though, is we're going to make our way up to, of course, the keep. Dragon Reach. I don't want to basically walk Most all the way. So. Run, I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Really? Is that the attitude? Wow. Let's uh, find the house, Carl, there. Divines bless you. May the ground... Excellent. You've done us a great service. I'll be glad. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Yes. Love Very decorations. Well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Yes, let's get the full thing. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some right. for your home. <coughs> I think I'm good. That has cost me a bit of money, but that's uh, well worth it, I think. Apologies about that. Let's get going. All right. I've got quests, various different quests. Let's have a look what's closest. I would love to modify or remove that. Mitchell Stone, Willem Tower. Of course, there we got the Orphan Rock. There is Iverstead. What I'm going to do, I am going to make my way to the inn to start off with. Let's do that. Let's see if we can pick up any additional work in the inn. Let's heal ourselves first. That's always a good one to go with and a quick save at the same time. Let's just have a look around. See what we can find. Thank you. Nice to know that you fancy me. Question is, is there any work to be done? How about chopping up some wood for the fire? Yeah, no, not what I'm looking forward to, but thank you. Right, let's get going. So where am I going to go? I'm going to go over to the Wilhelm Tower. I'm going to head east eastwards from there. <coughs> Further east. And the tower should, in theory, still be empty. Let me just close the doors. No need to leave the doors open, really. Right, we got our weapons in hand, or well, not in hand, but at least close to hand. Um, there is a cave there, it looks like. Wow, that's a bit of a drop in it. I'll get them on the map. Let's see, if I go through here. I can keep my fall to a relatively limited amount. Dark shade. Hello. Troll skull. Interesting. That's at least the uh, mind is gold over here. Along the river edge, you can find a fair amount of uh, ore. So I'm just going to mine that to see where we can take that. Cool. Bit of gold, always welcome. But 
what else do you reckon we'll come across here? Like I said, I need to keep an eye out, of course, for other ore deposits. There is more there, it looks like. This is we're dealing with iron ore here. Iron, of course, is also very, very welcome. We just basically want to basically increase our smithing skills. So currently I'm storing some capacity of this in my uh, my house chest. So I'll pick that up later on to see if I can do some proper uh, smithing with it. Ooh, there's a path there. Interesting. Let's have a look at the path, see where it takes me. Hmm. I suspect it takes me to a giant camp, but I'm not sure. Crushed rock. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to go there. I'm going to do the mining here. More iron ore. <coughs> this looks to be a bigger deposit. I'm not sure whether actually in game it is actually a bigger deposit, but it, it, in terms of visual appearance, it looks to be bigger. Oh, okay. It, apparently it's not really bigger, but okay, that's fine. Any further deposits on this side? I don't think so. But I'm keeping my eyes peeled for... Ooh, what is this? Goat. Okay. I got hit by a... I think it's spider. Nice. That's the end of the spider. And the only thing that fighter really gives me is a venom. Okay, well, venom is still welcome, of course, but it's uh, it's not really the end means that we're looking for. Right, let's go back to the path. See what we can do. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there should be an ambush. Ambush, you know, close by here. Ambush. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, there's a camp of sort up there. I'm leaving it as is for now. Alright, I'm still picking up all the flowers I can. I haven't done any alchemy for a little bit, but I will in the near future once again. That clay, that looks to be clay on the side there. Yep. Of course, we can basically take the clay and start mining it. I'm not sure about why you might see mine clay with a pickaxe, though. That that's my only hmm, okay qualm with this. But okay, that's fine. Let, let's do a bit of clay mining here. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit, and then we can see where it takes us. Alright, one more batch, or four, and then it's enough. There we go. Let's go back into action. Alright, what do we got here? Riften, Nergit, White Run, Solitude, Windhelm. Hold on. There is a contingent of soldiers there who are basically carrying along a prisoner. Imperial business. 
Be on your way. Aerial business. Be on if your you way. know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Uh -huh. Aha. <clears throat> Show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Be on your way. <laughs> He's got a mouthful, doesn't he? Ah, uh, that's the way to get there. Let's do this. Well, maybe that's not the way to get there, but uh, I did get close. Just not where I wanted to go, really. Let's try it again. Let's take the proper path this time. Which is basically along the top of the... Uh, Waterfall, not just jumping down the waterfall, like I did. Oh, there's an extra soldier who joined them. Lovely. I've got potions. I can use potions. Let's use some potions. Uh, no, no, not the one I'm looking for. Why is the Imperial soldier attacking me? Golly, golly, gosh. Not what I'm looking for. I wasn't the one to kill him. Ay, 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 ay. Right, let's go back to the point where we were. I think I'm pretty much saved it, but <laughs> it was a good encounter, but not quite what I was hoping for. Anyways, that's where I went wrong to start off with, but at least I get to see that there is some ore down here. Which will be quite useful in a minute. Cool. Is 
there's two different groups there it looks like so for some reason we got a double spawn happened there I don't think that is meant to happen but it, it has happened Dibala, wow. Ring of Minor Health. Apparel, ring, 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 ring of Minor Health. Okay. tree fell on our house. Interesting. Alright, let's quick save just in case and let's go through this encounter here once again. That's my Imperial friends. Is it now? Is it now? Let's try to lure them into a position where they uh, won't be able to do much. Or where they could potentially be swept away themselves. Or maybe not. Okay, I'm not sure what it is that uh, killed them, but uh, I'm grateful. Steel helmet's got a really, really nice uh, value ratio. Started Imperial Armor, nice. Imperial Sword. Alright, what else? Imperial Bow? No, I'm going to leave that for now. I really don't want to go into a situation where I have to kill Imperials. Because it is my intention, of course, to become an Imperial. Alright, by going inside, hopefully I will have created a situation where... It would have disappeared. As far as I can see, they have indeed disappeared. Now, I haven't actually gone and done much in that prison yet. <coughs> I 
interesting so where can I see my status with the other factions I thought it's in here somewhere general stats crime <coughs> nope not crafting general uh, barters lots as you can see gold found a lot as well quests no let's have a look further beyond this system no I don't see any particular faction standing or anything of that sort <coughs> it's a bit of a pity go back into there then let's just hide in there for a little bit oh my why, why not explore the prison I can as well there we go inside the prison upstairs oh, unfortunately has collapsed it looks like I'm just going to take the stairwell here to go down to see what we can find in here. That looks interesting. Let's explore this a bit further. that a whole collection of uh, ingots and so forth imperial light boots clothing Oh, interesting. Oh, I still sense your presence. Living. Ectoplasm. Bracers. The storm is coming, I can tell. The water leak has become stronger. Mm stronger. -hmm. <coughs> okay. to see what we can find here is this an exit or is this an alternative route through the dungeon Alternative route. Where does it take me though? Skyrim outside. So it's one of the many ways of getting outside, it looks like. Not quite where I was hoping to go. At least it's good to know there are alternative ways of actually getting out in case I do get stuck. 
But I do want to explore that prison further. So let's go back in. Let's indeed go back in. Hanging moss. That's one that I shouldn't be forgetting to pick. It's a nice ingredient to have for some of the uh, alchemy. Interesting to see that there's uh, so much water leakage in here. Good thing I went back in it. Read the guards' orders. We can't let the prisoners out, so either kill them or let them down. Either way, all guards must evacuate as soon as possible. We're about to be hauled into the river. <coughs> I'll be damned if I report a one legion death while under my watch. You have your orders. Okay, Imperial Shield. question is, if it's a real ghost, how come it you cannot just go through walls and such? I'm not sure real ghosts can, of course, do that, I don't know. I got enough about 75 lockpicks left. An expert level lock, so it's gonna take me a bit more effort to find out. Okay, I'm not all the way on the right. There you go, a little bit up from there, nice. Okay, I'm gonna go through a bunch of these, it looks like, as I slowly and steadily increase my lockpicking skill. Okay. Gosh, that went quick. Little bit to the top right. There we go. Like I said, sometimes it takes a bit of effort, but uh, <laughs> oh, well, I could have just used the key. Then again, I wouldn't be able to push up my. Uh, Lockpicking skill so much then, wouldn't I? That would be nice if it gave you a choice to either use the key or the... Uh, the lock, there's another key co uh, again called uh, Greedful, where actually you do get given a choice, so you can actually use lock picking. Is 
is level up because I do need to level up because I'm getting low on health. Right, at this point, what can I do? Let's do something else. What can I p boost up that I haven't actually boosted up yet? So can I maybe do my smithing? It's not high enough level yet. I'm only level 20 or 20 levels in there, however you want to say it. One-handed? Yeah, one-handed would be useful, wouldn't it? Took a bit of effort. We got there though, that's the main thing. Let's just double check my carrying. Ooh. 324 out of 325. Cannot take it much further than that. Imperial shield, and I don't think that's a good value to weight ratio. Banded iron shield is 33, and then the imperial shield is only 29. So I'm gonna drop that one because it's far too heavy for really the, what it offers. There might be books here that I actually might be able to find elsewhere, so that would be useful to take home. Probably become overweight, but that's okay. History of the Empire. Legend of Red Eagle. Plate. Yep, like I said. Two handed is increased. Right, what do I have to drop? What have I got here that I can do without? Orcish mace, possibly. Let's have a look. 21 damage. <sighs> Apparel, what can I drop? Iron boots. That's six. Golly, 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 golly. Uh, let's drop this as well. And I'm back in a range where I can actually do something properly. Right. Good. Any place I missed in here? I don't think so. I think I got it all. Except for this. Interesting. Okay. Um, potions. Yeah, as you can see, I got a fair number of potions. I don't want a weak poison. A horcrush loaf. That takes me back into the good range, I would say. Yes. And that should be the quick way out. Back out to Skyrim. Right, at this point, where are we going to go? Let's head back home. I don't want to see the local map. I want to see the world map. I am over here at the abandoned prison, which I just cleared. Whiterun. We're going to go back to Whiterun, and we're going to sell the excess stuff we just picked up. 
No, that's my plan at least. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight okay. a growing vampire menace. What do you say? What's We're the Dawn Guard? Hunters. We search out and you're not paying it. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was dis the vigilance mostly hunt? That's why our leader, Isran, is re-establishing the Dawn Guard. Real see Ha! Isran's going to like you. Go talk to him at Port Dawn Guard. Southeast of Rifton. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Cool. We should see the new content of our house, which we just upgraded last was this episode or last episode? I don't remember. Hmm. Hi Lydia. Alright, let's have a look. Weapons. I don't want to do anything with this here. Apparel. Nope, nothing I want to do here either. Books. These books I can sell. Miscellaneous. Clay. Uh, gold ore. Alright, ingot, iron ore, silver ore, good, that's good, 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 F ingredients, food, books, alright, let's get out of there for a second, let's have a look at my ingredients, which haven't I actually used before, Okay. Let's uh, put all of that stuff, all the ingredients in here as well. <sighs> Invisibility I can store here for now. I don't need it yet. Go and do a bit of sleeping. So once we basically slept, we'll basically sell over all the excess stuff and we'll basically then drop it off at uh, Adriana. And once we've done that, we can call it a day. You're someone who can get got some good pieces, the finest <coughs> weapons. Thank you. Let's have a look. Fur, 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 Imperials. Better helmet, steel helmet. Gauntlets. T -t 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 Nordic steel gauntlets. Studded Imperial. Yeah, not even close to what I've got now. Orcish mace. That's fine. Steel daggers. Nice, thank you very much. Cool. Don't forget to check inside the shop. I will not forget, but thank you very much for the uh, the rec uh, reminder. Bellathorus. Everything's some may call this junk. Right, weapons. Me, I Nothing I want to sell unless so there's mine. There's not mine. This is what I want to look at. So I want to basically sell him the apron, the clothing, the circlet, a fine hat, robes of minor destruction, perfect. That's all the apparel I wanted to sell him. 
books, these books I can sell. What books does he have? Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4, Fall of the Glory. Healing Sparks Unknown Taste. Okay. Anything else useful here? I don't see anything else that's useful here, but thanks for the offer. Oh yeah, potions. There were a few venoms. Frostbite venom. Conjurer's potion. I'm not a conjurer, so I can sell that. Uh, Berserker, weak poison. No, no poisons needed. Thank you very much. That should be it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Right, as I said, we're up to level 10 now, if I'm not mistaken. Heading back to our safe spot. Right in front of my house. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next episode. In the meantime, take care, guys. Bye-bye.